Hello students, I am S.P. Basavaraj. This presentation for you is a limited demonstration regarding the experiment laser diffraction. This is simply to help you having a better preparation prior to your practical examination. You have already done this experiment once in your regular class. Now I am providing here just a quick glance of the apparatus and a review of the setup. This is a laser source for which this is the power supply. When you switch on the power supply, the laser light emerges. You should never, never look directly into the laser beam. This is very important. If you do, then it may damage your eyesight permanently. Any problem in its operation, always take the help of the department staff. This is a plate. It has three windows with gratings of different line densities. You can choose any one of these. This is a grating stand to hold the grating plate. Take a graph sheet draw two perpendicular lines and write numbers like this on it this is a metal plate on which the graph sheet is fixed like this and it is now the screen on which the laser light falls keep the grating stand and the screen separated by about half a meter distance on the table next to the grating stand place the laser source so as to receive the laser beam normally to the plane of the screen switch on the laser source the luminous part on the screen that you see here is the incident laser light. Adjust the position of the screen so that the spot is on the vertical line. Now insert the grating into the slot so that the laser light passes through one of the grating windows. Now you see on the screen many more spots in addition to the spot on the vertical line. They are all symmetrically about the central spot. The central spot on the vertical line is now named the central maxima. The two nearest spots on its either side are both named first principal maxima and the two succeeding them are the two second principal maxima. Now move the screen to and fro so that the inter distance between the successive spots is about 3 to 4 centimeters. You will be making measurements on the distances of the respective spots from the, from the central maxima. On the graph sheet you can easily read those distances. The distance between the grating and the screen is measured using a meter scale. After noting these values, get your observations approved by the examiners. That's all you need to calculate the wavelength of laser light used in your experiment. As a preparation before the examination, practice drawing the figure on tab the column, memorize the formula, make a calculation once of the wavelength of laser by taking the values from your physics practical record. That's about your preparation. Remember, Listen to the instructions given by the examiner carefully at the start of the examination. That's all students. I hope this video helped you a bit in your preparation for the practical examination. Thanks for watching.